for being here. I'm Bill McCarran. I'm the executive director of the National Press Club and a board member with Reporters Without Borders, uh, who's responsible for organizing this event today. So let's give them a big thank you. We're here today to celebrate the photography of Austin Tice, which you see behind you. And as we often do when we gather to talk about Austin, to ask for his immediate, safe, and unconditional release. We're asking the Syrian government to do that. Joined by a wide coalition of people today to support Austin, who you all know has been unjustly detained for seven years for doing his job as a journalist in Syria, so for no reason at all. And um, this coalition has been uh, working with the Tice family to try to raise awareness of Austin. I think we used some interesting techniques this week. I want to tell you about uh, uh, Ask About Austin. This is a campaign that was imagined, designed, and produced by my colleague, uh, the executive director of the National Press Club Journalism Institute, Julie Moose. Julie is here. Along with the, the Tices who are here, and let's give them a big hand. More than 100 volunteers fanned out across the Capitol to have meetings with members of Congress, senators, their staff to raise awareness of Austin and to ask that they uh, support a Dear Colleague letter that was produced by, in the House side, uh, Congressman Engel and Congressman McCall, and on the Senate side by um, uh, Senator Cornyn, the Texas Senator from Texas, and Patty Murray of Washington State. And the results of this campaign were astonishing. Uh, 121 members of the House signed the Dear Colleague letter. 52 senators signed the Dear Colleague letter. It was wide support and it was bipartisan. And I, I don't need to say how important that was and, and uh, how great it, it is to see that. Wow. So today